So what is the level of detail? In brief, the further away you are from the camera, the less detail that you need to have represented on that object. This image, for instance, shows six levels of details, or lots, with the highest level of detail at the front and the lowest at the back. With the first couple, you don't see too much of a difference, but then as we start moving further down the train, you get to see how diminished the 3D mesh is and the texture quality. Now let's have a look from the other side, just so you can see. Here we can see that the details are very blurry, but if we look at the character really far back, it looks perfectly normal, and that's because it is. But we don't need so much detail so far away. Now, just a little fun thing. Let's look at them side on. Now, they're not in number order. I want you to guess which order is from the highest quality to the lowest quality of the models. Now, you may want to go full screen for a little bit. I'm going to give you 10 seconds to write your answer in the comment below. But if you're not going to write something, just hit the like button. So, how close were you? Let's talk about poly count of each model, starting from the back. So we've got 314 vertices, 2,212, 4,934, 13,973, 19,841, 25,845. Now we can see that there is a massive difference from the front model to the back model. And this is where the level of detail is very important. You don't need so much data to be sitting all the way back. Let's talk about memory usage and we'll work our way backwards with the file sizes of each model. So 1.8 meg, 2.2 meg, 7.6 meg, 9.6 meg, 32 meg, 53.6 megabytes. Most game engines, such as Unreal Engine, will automatically reduce the resolution of both the texture and the model depending on the distance from the character. This is why when Unreal Engine 5 trailer was released, a lot of developers were scratching their heads on how they were able to achieve this. Now hopefully this has helped you out. Please let me know in the comments below if you like this type of video. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out and keeps you up to date with my content. If there's anything else you would like to know, please leave a comment below.